Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel, or if you're new, my name's Kip, and I like they, them pronouns. We're gonna be playing a new puzzle game called Clem that I was not sponsored to do uh, this long YouTube video for, but I was sponsored to do a couple of TikTok videos, but I thought the video game was honestly so cute and fun, and I really just love ominous puzzle games, so I thought y'all would really like to see me play the whole thing, so please enjoy, and if you wanna like, subscribe, give yourself a hug, take your medicine, whatever you want to do. I won't tell you what to do, but you should do the medicine part at least. But anyways, let's jump into the game. Hey, you. Wake up. Who, me? And bring me beauty. What? Oh, that's a little buddy. Is that us? Are we beauty? Well, we're already bringing the beauty. Look how cute! Look how cute little friend is! We're already- we're bringing the beauty! And we just walk around- Oh, look how cute! What happens if we open ourselves up there? If we unzip, what happens? Unzip? Unzap, unzap? Improv friends? Anyway, we just take this? What is this? Ooh, okay. So we want beauty, is that true? Oh. So we're trying to look for a butterfly, is that true? The butterfly is an insect belonging to the... Le, le, pe, le, le We can do it. Lepido... Lepidoptera family? That's... We try our best. Um, okay, maybe I could use them in an eye wash to have eyes as pretty as mom's? And then you can tell this is a British game because mom's. <laughs> it's British adjacent. Interesting. So I think we're trying to find a butterfly. And are we like building a body? What's happening? This, see, this is already really creepy. Oh, why can't I? Oh, we, oh my God, are we, do we put the book in our head and that's like where we store stuff? Someone's written bring me beauty, but it's not my writing. Okay. So we're just like in this house. Oh, use, do I take the door? What is this sigil? Oh, I don't know. Do I want to go upstairs or do I want to continue being in darkness? I think this door looks locked. I don't think it's going to open. It's going to Dark Souls me. Nuh-uh. Mm -mm. don't, don't say no to me. Okay, then I guess we go upstairs. Ooh. I've always wanted a stove like this. Not that I'll ever probably own a home. But I'd love to have a little old-fashioned stove like this. I think that's so cute. It's all messy. Okay, well, we're taking little items. Okay. Crew it. A recipe... A recipient full of a yellowy green viscous liquid. Okay. Is anyone gonna do these dishes or am I gonna have to do it? Are we gonna have to start a chore chart? I really don't want to have to start a chore chart. Let's enter in here. Isn't this cute, Yoshi? Oh. oh, yeah, look how- oh my god, look at these plugs. So European. Use. Oh my gosh, I can put something in it? What happens if I put something- No? Okay. Oh, maybe if we find flowers later, we can- we can make the vase beautiful. Oh. Oh, so this is almost- it almost feels like an escape room game. We'll have to come back to this, I'm guessing. And that auto saves. Okay, we'll come back to that. Look at this cute little cat. And the cat has a key. And I wonder if that'll be useful later. Locked, okay. What are these, nails? What if I put nails in a vase? Is, would something interesting happen here? No? Okay. What if I want to put nails inside of a glass container and shake it all around, though? What is that? Oh, it's torn. I need to probably find some needles and thread to fix it. Whose house is this? Is this my house? Oh, this is really cute, though. Huh. I bet later we'll figure out how to read that. I actually can play the piano, so can I? Oh. Oh man, what song can we- what song- what meme song can I do? Wait, hold on. Does anyone know- just from this note alone, does anyone know what song I'm referencing? 
Black prayed, but you were half stepped down. Oh, really? It's this. It's this. So, Livy, you're you're such a hardcore millennial. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's that's when you know. That's when you know you're a hardcore millennial. Is when you know it was a half step down. <laughs> I truly do not believe. I truly do not believe anyone genuinely likes the taste of coffee. I think you have absolutely just destroyed. I think you have messed with your mind. You've gaslit yourself so much. You've gaslit yourself so much into liking coffee. Because you like how it makes you feel. The caffeine. And it's like at that point, just take a caffeine pill. But I get the ritual. The ritual of drinking something is fun. Which is why the London Fog is my drink of choice. Do I even like drinking it? Kind of. I'd rather have a lemonade. I'd rather have a passion fruit lemonade. But in the morning, that's just like so much. I will move to Utah and become part of the soda scene. You can't get into your Stanley Cup soda arc, Rock. You can't do it. You can't do it, Rocky. Because every, 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 every person I talk to goes, well, coffee's an acquired taste. And I go, why are you hurting yourself? Oh, I can't unlock it. Okay, I have to find a key. You have to stop hurting yourself. The garden? No. I hope there's not coffee out there. Well, we could make some tea. Ooh. Oh, butterfly. Wait, that's a butterfly. Wait, I need that. There's a dead animal. Hold on. I need that. I need this. Oh. Ooh, if I close these, will I then... Wait, no. Stay closed, though. Stay closer than the butterfly stays inside. That was sort of my... Assumption. What if I just threw nails on top of a, a, a dead dog's grave? Mm -mm. <laughs> Don't do that. Why not? Is this like an elixir that'll bring it back to life? Is this? Mm -mm. No. Okay. I was just sort of seeing <laughs> what would happen. <laughs> what if I desecrated a, a a grave? Oh, here's a a, a greenhouse. Is this what you're talking about? Is this the garden? These are some beautiful flowers. And look at a beautiful lady? Okay. What is this? Oh, whoa, what? Oh. Oh, you can put... Oh, and you can move it? Oh, this is interesting. What is this? I don't think this... I don't think this is right. I think I want a different... No, wait, put this back. I want to look at this item. This one. I feel like this one is going to be correct. And if I put it on here and I swing it around, will it work? No. Then maybe it's the other one. Hold on. I need to I need to find a piece essentially. Let's take this off. Will this work? Okay. Oh, and then if I connect it. Ooh. Oh, oh. Is this right? I feel like it. Oh, I think if I connect it to here, because I feel like it would eventually fit somewhere. Do you see this? It's a circle, but I don't think it fits right here. I think I am. I am missing a piece. So I think we're going to have to come back. Oh, because yeah, because I feel like this this little piece that's glowing right here that I don't have, I think goes like right there. Oh, but maybe it's supposed to mean the empty space. Wait, hold on. I'm going back in. I'm such a stubborn person where I'm like, oh, I know the game is telling me to, like, wait, but I don't want to. You know what? I, I do. I have to wait, though, but I have to wait. What am I taking? A shovel. Are we... Oh, my God. Are we going to dig the dog's grave? <laughs> are we going to dig the dog's grave right now? <laughs> okay. 
Am I about to you? Okay. What if it's a trick though? Do y'all want to desecrate a grave? Let's go. Okay. It's, yep. It, well done. Good job. Disturbing a, 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 a burial site. What did I just get? Oh, I got a key. Oh, this is a cat. It was a cat that was in the, um, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the living room. I wonder if I put it on there, it'll work. Maybe, but let me explore a little bit more that's inside. Some tools. We got a nail gun. It's empty, but if it was full, I guess I'll be able to use it for something. I got a whole jar of nails. Separate. Oh, I see. And I can combine. Oh, there's like recipes, essentially. Yeah, combine that. Combine it with this. Can I? Huge. Okay, we got a full nail gun. <laughs> I'm- that kind of terrifies me, but... What even is this? Use this. Oh, does this key unlock this? No? Okay. I love- this buddy's so cute. I like how it says no. And no means no, folks. What happened? There, there were- there was- I found a key in the grave. You gotta, you know, you gotta save your energy for yourself, too. Let's go talk to that cat on a wall. If I put the key on the cat, do I want to change my walking speed? Yeah, I want to go fast. Yeah, make me go fast. Butterfly, come here. Come here. It's going to tempt me the whole time. Can I put the key on the cat? No? I wonder if I, can I keep following the butterfly? Is it just going to go to different rooms? Hmm. Okay, well let's let's keep exploring. I feel like I just need to find more items and it'll just kind of all come into place. Mm -mm. No? Well eventually Have a key that works! What is in here? Yes! The the I think the I think I can do the thing that I was trying to do earlier, but I couldn't do. Dad, I hope that you never open this drawer because if you do, I'll tell Mum sorry, this is a British person, I'm guessing. Here here we go, British accent. Dad, I hope that you never open this drawer because if you do, I'll tell Mum like I did last time so that she tells you off again. Stop taking my toys. <laughs> that was so good. That was so good. That was so good. I think I'm British. I think I'm British. Bane! <laughs> Bane, shut up. <laughs> Bane, shut up. Bane, 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 shut up. Anyway. When's the British accent coming? I... <laughs> should I... Tr okay, should I do Australian instead? Also, Mal, thank you for the follow. Also, Rocky, thank you for all. I didn't realize that. Sorry, I didn't see that. Dad, I hope that you never open this drawer. Nope. Shut up. Stop. Piece of metal. I know where this goes. Where's that? I want to go in that little hole. Also, good night, Starlight. Get some good sleep. Am I stuck? <laughs> I was like, where am I stuck in this kitchen forever? Okay, let's go finish this eyeball thing. Eyeball time. You're too, you're too nice to be British? I know British people have nice teeth. Well, I was lucky enough. I got braces for free. I never had braces as a kid. Um, but I uh, was lucky enough to have an, uh, a family member. See, it keeps going inside. I need to find a net. I think that's the thing. So we're gonna figure that butterfly thing out later. Um, but I got braces for free, which rocks, because braces are really expensive. They're like thousands of dollars. Inventory. Put this right here. Beautiful. So if I put this, put this, this one right here first, and then I spin it around, go all spinny mode, that works. And then I use this one and it I think connects oh will this work you know what I'm realizing I don't think this connects where I think it does maybe maybe this one does connect somewhere else hmm maybe there's another piece but no like 
I feel like this has to go... Oh, maybe this is right. No, this is wrong. Oh, oh, maybe it goes like this. I just wasn't using my brain hard enough. And then this goes, oh, this kind of looks almost right. I think I need to turn it a little bit more. This one needs to like go right here, perhaps, and then put this here. Ooh, there we go. Now that's a puzzle that's solved. And this goes here. I, what just happened? Pretty lady, give me ball. <laughs> Pretty lady, give me ball. What is that? Pretty lady, give me orb. Glass, a round piece of glass. I'm not sure why, but it looks familiar. Okay. Also, hi, Kel, how are you doing? Roll three, four, seven. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. The very, very pretty statue. Very pretty. Also, great personality. Also, great personality. Take orb. And do we bury the orb? We just have to explore a little bit more. What's this whole nail gun thing? I really want to figure that out. I wonder if I. If there's another garden. Oh, gosh. Blocked? Okay. Can I climb a tree? Can I climb into this tree? No. Okay. We'll come back to this later. I'm really liking this. I really like platformer games. Like Celeste, I've always wanted to play, but I just don't like platformers. And this is like almost platformy, but it's puzzle. And I really like that. Okay. Respecting statues. Their eyes are up there. <laughs> Hi, Shay. How are you doing? I think I used the nail gun right here. What's the deal with this? I want to, like, tear this all down. Let's go upstairs. What's up here? So what's up, Oz? How you doing? It's dark. Oh! Oh! Yes, don't come back until you have it. I need beauty. Well... Don't, come back yet. don't you have it yet? I don't have beauty yet. I know the, the butterfly is over there, but I have an orb. I have an orb and I want to... Oh! Could I combine it with this? What? I just made a uh, 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 lens of truth? What is this? Lens of truth. This is one of the first toys I made for myself when I started studying magic, witchcraft, and alchemy. Through the glass, you're able to see things that are invisible to the naked eye. It's really easy to use. All you need to do is look at something through the lens and then move it slowly over the object to discover any secrets. Oh, there was a book I was reading that kind of looked faded. I'm sure that probably... If I use that on there, that'll work. And my mum gave it to me. It's only made of two parts, and it's really only a gadget for beginners, but I'm really proud of it because I made it myself. When I'd only turned just five, you made a magic witchcraft lens when you were five? That's like classic gifted kid to burnout from Berkeley situation, folks. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful, okay? When I'm not using the lens, I take it apart and hide the handle in the drawer where we kept things for bones the cat and the crystal in the hand of Thea only I know how to make them to move the arms so dad won't be able to take it from me man this is there's big daddy issues happening in this game right now I made mine by three and I made it when I was two and I never sleep I had two hours sleep every day and I made it when I was two <laughs> you know what I'm about? can I go in here use can I nail this door closed Hold on, let me look at this again. Bring me beauty, but it's not my writing. I feel like I need to find a little, I feel, I feel like I need to find a little thing. The nail gun is to protect against the men, I suppose so. Oh wait, can I use the nail gun for this? A oh, lens of truth I can use on this? Oh. What is that? Oh, and the eye, what does that mean? Two eyes. Oh, it solved it. Interesting. Oh, the piano showing me what to do with the piano. What? Is that how many times I'm supposed to hit the notes? What are the do the symbols mean anything in particular? A 
what do the symbols mean? I wonder if the symbols mean, like if we're looking at this, any of my music theory heads, okay? Let's sort of all work together on this. If we're, <laughs> if I'm looking at this, do you see how there's like that symbol that looks like a, like a ring, like a wedding ring? I wonder if I hit the wedding ring, if I hit C two times and then I hit G three times and the box note I hit, I hit D once and then I hit high C three times and then I hit E three times and then hit B two times. Do you understand? <laughs> do you understand what I'm trying to, do you understand what I mean? Do you understand what I'm trying to do? I, I'm, I was not a gifted child, okay? I was not a gifted kid, so I'm not as burnt out. So I'm able to really tap into my mind and tap into a powerful source, which is uh, uh, um, low expectations, but possibly high, high, high yielding results. Do you know? Anyway, Axu, thank you for the three months. <laughs> I'm getting into some cool shit. Nice. <laughs> Do you understand what I mean though? I have no clue. I think, okay, I'm gonna take a picture of this. Okay, I'm taking a picture. This is also a really cool painting. Okay, I took a picture of it in case I need to reference it later. Um, is there anything else I need to look at? No. But I'm assuming this is a person that's an eyeball. I like just doing that alone, that alone school. Okay, next to the clock I saw a photo of a cat, or maybe it was a painting. I don't really know how to tell the difference. Anyway, what I it's like when you see a thing and you're like, is it a cake or is it real? It's it's just don't do that. <laughs> Stop making cake into shoes into cake. Let me go back out there and see if I can use my magnifying lens of truth on this book. Yeah. And show me an eyeball. There's one, and I'm guessing the other one's gonna be somewhere on this page. Pansy. Not me. Not me, I'm strong. The pansy is a hybrid ornamental plant obtained from the wild species Viola tricolor. They're really pretty. I always think of Alice in Wonderland when I see those. Um, why is this useful for me? The pansy flowers in December. Its flowers measure some six centimeters in diameter. Okay. The passionate reception of this plant among the upper class has posed that posed the idea the ideal steel greenhouses led to the creation within just two decades of more than 400 variety of pansies. Yeah, with the lens of truth, I can see what it says on the faded pages. Turns out that book was an encyclopedia of flowers. The page that was marked went on about some colorful flowers that attract some bugs called- Oh, okay, so wait, so those flowers- Oh! We need to get the butterfly. And to get the butterfly, we need it to stay inside. And if it's attracted to some of the flowers, I can go to the greenhouse and get some pansies and put it in the vase and then grab the butterfly from there. Yes. Here we go. Can I grab them now? Huge. Knowledge. Great. That, see, this is so fun. I love puzzle games. Puzzle games are so fun. So now let's go back to the kitchen. Let's close this just so that the butterfly stays and then it opens. That's okay. But hopefully that like incentivizes the butterfly to stay put and speak when spoken to, just like children in the 1920s. Okay, so then if I quickly, 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 I guess what I need to do is put the pansies in, go back outside, close it, and maybe it'll stick around. Cause it was, it, well, I was I was a little too slow on that. I don't think there was even time to, to do it. So let's go back out. And we're moving so fast. Also, bye, Chonky. Good luck doing some DoorDash stuff. Take care of yourself. Okay, so if I close this and we go back out and ignore the fact that I did dig up a cat grave. Ignoring that. Clem is like Brat's little big planet. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny because I, I like that. <laughs> That's so funny because I like it. <laughs> Does Clem stand for something? I think Clem is my name. I think it's me. But you know what? I don't know. It hasn't really been established yet. I think my name's Clem. There's just a book that says Clem on it. Maybe that's my mom's name. I don't know. We have yet to find out. 
Okay, so now the butterfly is really into this. Oh, but I... Hmm. Oh! Okay, the window keeps closing, and I have a nail gun. I'm going to absolutely trap this little bugger. Yes. Yes. Butterfly, stay. Inventory. Use. Yes, nail gun. Yeah. Now, some would think this is unethical, but I already dug up a grave, so there's really no... It's kind of... We've, we've thrown it all out the window. Actually, we can't, because the window's closed. Yeah, that's true, Willie. Yeah, if y'all want to play this game, there's a link if you want to download it. It's honestly, I'm having such a good time with this. Okay, now I capture it. I put it in the jar, which used to have nails, and now instead of nails, it has a living thing. It's pretty, isn't it? It is pretty, little British child. This is giving, like, Coraline vibes, isn't this? This is Coraline energy. Okay, now... I have a beautiful thing, so I think I can open a door. Because the door was like, you can't open this door unless you give me something beautiful. And, but look at my little, little Coraline Bratz doll. <laughs> look at my little Coraline Bratz doll, little big planet kiddo. Aren't they beautiful? Okay. Oh, the door's open now. Well, now that you really want me to bring it, <laughs> I don't really want to give it to you anymore. Yeah, like the three, um, the three lost kids or whatever, you know what I'm talking about? Here is... Are you gonna hurt me? Who are you? Well done, but we are not finished yet. Okay. You just throw me back into the cellar and make you do your bidding again? That's so messed up. Give me a bed. Give me a bed. I'm just down here and they keep throwing me down. That's your evil twin. Milk. <laughs> Backwards Clem. Give me my book back. I have all my stuff, I'm guessing. Did you take all my stuff? Okay, I have all my stuff back. Someone unlocked this door. Well, that's scary. Okay. Also, and animativity, thank you for the follow. And silent Zach, thank you for the follow as well. This is broken. Oh, I have tape. I have tape somewhere. Can I, can I use a little, I love a little pink toilet. I think that's cute. Okay, so we're gonna have to fix this eventually. We need some, we need some duct tape or a wrench to just like turn the water off. Can I just use? No, okay. So we'll come back. I know there was tape um, in the shed outside, but it looked like I couldn't take it. It said I had to use it. But maybe we'll go outside and see what we can find. Oh, this door's open now. What is this? Ooh, the beautiful lady who I'm looking at respectfully. The beautiful lady I'm looking at respectfully. I can't believe they're making me do this. I am going to respectfully just look at her eyes and her face. I am- I don't <laughs> I'm just looking at the eyes, but the game is making me look all over the painting, and I- Okay. Was that all? Oh, the orb is golden now. I am- <laughs> I'm- yep. I am- I am- <laughs> I am I am okay okay I think that was it you have a very beautiful smile and okay <laughs> and this game is pretty cool <laughs> Maybe that's Clem's mom. My mom's hot. <laughs> this is how you look respectfully. You avoid looking at all. Well, it's just like, you know. I don't know. But anyway, I can breathe. I'm breathing. 
I don't have a key. Can I look at this photo? What is this? What is this? Runic key? Okay, so this is gonna- oh. Thank you, evil twin, I'm assuming. I don't have a problem closing doors with a spell, but I'm not so good at opening them. Until now, because finally I have the runic key. It's like a lockpick, but way cooler because I made it and it has really cool engravings. That's sweet. Okay. And when I show it to mom, she's going to be so impressed. My super hot mom is going to be super impressed. Now I'm going to be able to create any combination I need to open doors. Oh, awesome. So I don't have to look for other keys. That's nice. What is this? We're too young for this. Hmm. We'll need some more stuff. I'm guessing. So does that mean I can open this with my runic key? Oh. Oh my god, this is like unlocking safes, but actually really awesome. Wait. And if I... Okay, so I think... Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm just sort of testing this out. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know how this works. Just kidding. I don't know how this works. Okay, I unlocked. I clicked one. Okay, okay, I understand. This just has to move a little bit higher. Would this work? No, it needs to just move even higher. Sorry, I've never, I've, I've definitely, I've never played Skyrim. Do I just move them as high? How high up can I go with these? It looks like these don't have to move up as high because they're pretty tall on their own. Am I trying to get them to touch the... Okay, wait, I, I understand, I understand. Bring this lower. This is gonna take me a second. Okay, this needs, this needs to be a little lower. It needs to be right on the line. Do we see that? Okay, so one and three are good. This needs to be way lower. And this one also way lower. Oh, but... Or does it have to... I don't know! <laughs> Is it the- is it the- the thing? Am I trying to- I'm trying to get the very top of it. I think it's that little, um, the indent part. It's the first indent that I think needs to line up. I think that's true. I've never really looked into lockpicking, though I find it very fascinating. Yeah, thank you, Axio. I literally have a lockpick set right next to me. Well, feel free to lockpick alongside if you, if, if you feel so inclined. So let's just move these back up all again. Man, I feel like I'm gonna play this all night. This is- okay. This is like the highest it goes. Okay, so that one is good. Let's work on number two. That looks right. Number three, a little higher. Close, one more nudge. Yes, and then the last one, like two nudges. Nope, one more nudge down. Yes! It took a second, but now we understand how keys work, folks. If you, didn't, if you never understood how keys works, there you go. What's in here? To the most handsome man of the house, me? And the entire town, also me? <laughs> I still remember how happy you made me when you said yes to taking that trip around the world with me. It was our first trip together and it was so special. You'd only just finished your course specializing in phyto phytochemistry and I still had a few years left of my etymology degree. I don't know what phytochemistry is. Does anyone know what that is? You didn't want me to miss classes during the week, during the three weeks the trip lasted, but when I showed you the quantity of amazing flowers and bugs we were going to discover, I made all of your fears disappear. Yes, I know I ended up repeating the year, but we learned so much on that trip, didn't we? Phytochemistry is a study of phytochemicals, which are chemicals derived from plants. I assumed so. I was like, it sounds like a plant thing. Phytochemists strive to describe the structures of the large number of secondary 
metabolites found in plants, the functions of these compounds in humans and plant biology, and the biosynthesis of these compounds. That's cool. And we learned something interesting. All right, let's try to organize this stuff. I need to like write this down. I mean, like, I guess I'll just use my phone. Um, I wonder if I can find one. Okay, I'll just write it down on my phone. Um, we have Burning Marble Valley, which was the chair- was that the cherry snap? The cherry schnapps? Okay, then there was the Angel Island Rum. Um, then the Herb Liqueur from Misty Mountain. Then Labyrinth Seas gave us gin. Then Mystic Caves was the local whiskey. Okay, so those are five, those are five drinks. I'm writing it down. And then if we go to this little area, also hello, hot mom. Um, we have to just get, based on the description, we're just gonna put it in order. So this looks like the burning Marble Valley Cherry. I wonder, if, can I move this one? So select it. Okay, move this over. And then the Angel Island Rum. Angel Island, I'm guessing this, this looks like, this looks like rum. Then we have something s Misty Mountain. This looks like a Misty Mountain. And then I rotate this. I think this is right. No? Yeah, the herb liqueur and then this, the, 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 the labyrinth sea. This looks right. Yeah, we have, but maybe again, we have to do it in the order that we liked it, but they're being kind of like vague. We really like the cherry snaps, okay was the best of the trip. So maybe I do have to organize it by how much they liked it. Okay, so I think the Angel Island one was their favorite and Misty Mountain was their least favorite because they, so Misty Island, so I guess it's just based off how much they drank from it. Hello? Oh, yes, correct. Okay, cool. Okay, brilliant and the most handsome man in town, okay. So now we're taking the orb that our hot mom had? What is this? It's like a golden ball. It's very heavy and very shiny. And the only thing I was looking at when I was looking at this painting, I was only looking at this and this. Yep. Okay. So what am I, well, I wonder what that orb is going to mean. I've seen a painting which has a lady in it, just like the one in the greenhouse. Yeah. When I looked at it through the lens, the painting changed a little bit. I'm going to draw it here might be important. Hmm. Something strange is going on. Before I woke up in the same place again, I kept- I keep hearing a voice asking me for things, and now the door in this room just closed on its own. It doesn't have a lock, so I don't know how I'm going to get out. The magic key I found was only useful for unlocking that drawer, and inside there was just pieces of papers. Hmm. Oh, I'm locked out? What? What? How the- what? Was I- am I supposed to look at her thighs? What am I- is that- is that actually the trick? Oh, another piece of paper. 2nd of September. I just realized that dad took away all my toys while I was at camp. That's so mean. Well, tonight I'm going to take them back and hide them where no one will find them. The 3rd of September. I've hidden- this is very British. I've hidden all the toys, but I nearly got caught. While I was in the study, I thought I heard footsteps. Because I didn't have the teleport charm, I had to quickly carry out a ritual. I can- I can teleport? I had to quickly carry out a ritual to close the door to stop dad from catching me. With this spell in place, the study door will close behind me every time I enter and only open again if I disappear from the room or if I use some green books from my dad's library to form the symbol for temperance. At first I tried to do it with desertion, but I got nervous because of the footsteps and didn't do it right. I think I moved something on the other side of the door though. Okay. So if I look inside of the botanical encyclopedias and I organize the books 
to make the temperance symbol. What does the temperance symbol even look like? Hold on, let's check this out. Temperance looks like a T. T for temperance. So if I move all the green books in a very particular order, and I can move it? Huh. It just slides out. But I can't, like, necessarily move them. And I'm trying to make... Oh. Is this right? No, I can only move a certain amount. Oh, I understand. Okay, wait. This? Up and down? And then these three. And it makes like a little T-shape. Do we see that? Is that right? Yes. Big. Envy, how you doing? Okay, now I'm free. Thank you. I wonder if I did it wrong the dad would have come and like kicked my butt. Or worse. I don't know what to- I don't want to assume what worse would be. Okay, so what items do I have again? The orb. I wonder if I make the statue outside hold the orb, like in the painting, if that would change anything. Perhaps. Or mom could come scold me, which nobody wants, that's true. I'd rather see my hot mom than my mean dad. Yeah, I think if I give it the orb, what would happen? Will it- Yeah, rise again, and I'm looking only at the orb. Ooh. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, Clem, because I'm your evil, cool, hot brats twin. Watch those eyes of yours, sponsored. <laughs> Ooh. Use. Look at this. Oh, can I? Why isn't the water coming out? Oh, I wonder if I fix the water inside the house, the water will come out and then refill the pond, and then maybe I'll get something sweet? Hmm. Man, I wish I was a voice actor and I could do this sound. Get paid, like, a bunch of money to go, uh-uh. Mm-mm. That's just my voice reel. <laughs> okay, so then maybe- maybe we'll leave it on for now. And we'll- we'll come back. We should go to the shed. The shed has tools, so we can go fix the leaky faucet in the in the bathroom. Let's go check that out. I think that'll be good. Rohimo, hi. What's up? Kepvia would destroy genuinely. I'd like to work on that'd be fun, you know. I've I've done choir, so I have some sort of I, I understand how to engage my diaphragm. What is this? I'm just taking like a, a Phillips screwdriver? An extremely hard metal wand with a plastic handle. And and how? Oh, now I can unlock this door. Okay. <gasps> okay, man, I love this part of the game. I love unlocking stuff. One, two, one, two, three, four, five? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How's this? Um, let's start with the first one. Let's move it down a notch. Perfect. Second one, move it down a notch. And then the third one, we gotta move it down a bunch. Like, even like five paces. How's this? Close! Move- oops. Move this up like two. Just kidding, move them down one. I was so close. That looks right. Okay, what's in here? Duct tape? What is this? Uh, a handle. A red plastic knob for a shutoff valve. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna close the- close it in the in the in the bathroom and hopefully that water will then get funneled out to the pond perhaps we'll see let's go to the bathroom which i think is right in here no oops it's oh and i locked myself and i had to do the thing again that's okay i i pretty much know how to do it anyway i'm kind of sort of a master and the most beautiful man in town I wish I could open the book and the books and read them I wonder if there's anything interesting inside okay 
So I've, I've, I've learned, <laughs> I've learned my lesson. Do not go in this room again. Unless I want to have some of that cool whiskey. Okay, so back into the bathroom. If we put this little item on here, can I close it now? Beautiful, okay. Now can I get something in here? Take, and then if I tape, Adhesive tape, okay. Can I, can I use the tape here? I'd like to be able to tape this so I can actually have like the water flowing. Cause I wonder if that's gonna be something. Can I take a little bath? I feel like my buddy's really stressed out and has had a really difficult life. And this cat picture's really, I have a lot of questions. Okay, let's go back outside and see if I can... If I turned off the water there, I wonder if... A lot of questions, a lot of questions. I wanna see if the water's turned on in the pond area. I wish I could take my shovel back, but it's been it's been used how it needs to be used. Also, Promiha, hi. Promiha, hello. The character looks like Isaac. I know, it's like Isaac, Binding of Isaac and Coraline combine. Which, hey, I won't complain about. Those are two things I, I enjoy. There we go. Okay, so now it's working. So now, can I use the tape to... Maybe just halfway. And then... Oh, there we go. And then does the bird come down? So we're filling up the pond. Is this doing anything? Chonky, welcome back. Hmm. I like how this looks. Use. Oh, if I use the tape. No? Can I just <laughs> screwdriver it? Could I put some oil in it? I, I do like that it's filling the pond up, so I'm just gonna do that for now. I feel like this is useful. Do you see that little slug over there? Do you see that little snail? It just peeked out. See, there it is. Do you see the snail? Do you see it? Do you see it? Cute. Oh yeah, I can unlock this drawer now. Oh, perfect. Okay. Okay, that one's already fine. So I'm gonna just like lower this so it doesn't touch it at all. This one will have to move down a bit. This move down a bit. This one go up a bit. What's up with this? Why is this one being weird? Um. Okay, let's remove it and bring this up a little bit. Okay, that one works. And I already kind of forgot what this one was. Oh, that was my bad. I have to move it more down. And just a tad bit up. Okay. And now... What's the deal with this one? Oh, I have to be really... I have to time it perfectly. Oh, I was close. Do you see that? Unlock. No? Nope. Is it because one of these are wrong? Oh, I have to- I just realized this first one's wrong. I do have to move it up like just a hair. There we go. Okay. Sorry if the sounds are a lot because I'm just spamming it. There we go. That's fun. I like this element of the gold rod is just like, uh, making it a little- a little bit tougher, which is cool. No, I found a net, which is the catch the butterfly. Is this a net or is this a strainer? I wasn't paying attention. It's like a big spoon, but you couldn't eat soup with it. Oh wait, could I catch the fly with this? What if I combine this with something? Is that possible? Oh, strainer with sticky tape. It's just like a big spoon that you couldn't use to eat soup, but now it's sticky. Could I combine this and like catch the fly? Why did, can you just combine anything? No. Okay, so this actually was real. That's so funny. I was just messing around and I actually made something. But I already caught the butterfly. What would this net be for? Would it be for catching fish in that pond? Do we get to see MILF statue again? I hope so. But if I go in there, then I'll get locked out. Actually, we are gonna go see it. But maybe I have to throw like food or like bait in there? I don't think there's gonna be any fish in there right now. Unless it just lets me do it. 
Hmm. Hmm. Can I use the screwdriver? Yeah, look at that little blue jay friend. I feel like they're gonna do something. It's just there's not really an item for me to use here that it's telling me, so... I don't think this is ready yet. This game has been, like, kind of pretty straightforward with how to interact with the puzzle. Oh, did I not unlock this? Oh. I thought I unlocked this door. Okay, I need to put this one way higher. One more tick. And that one's even... This one I need to put the third one down just a little bit. And go up one more. I know this sound is so satisfying. The last one, there may be like two here. Unlock. What's even in here? Is this a new room? I guess I just didn't- Oh! Oh, and we have a little friend! This looks- uh, You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of that Teletubbies vacuum. Do you know what I'm talking about? What is this? Royal. What is that? Can. The label says bi bicarbonate. No, bicarbonate. Bicarbonate. Bar whatever. It's empty. <laughs> okay, okay. Bicarbonate? Is that what you're trying to say? That's very funny. Um, I'm guessing. I actually don't know what that is. The eyes move? Oh, they do move. Oh, that's freaky. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so I was just getting this. Maybe, is that some sort of fish food? Maybe I can put in the pond and then catch fish. I think it's a fish, I think it's a food thing. That's Henry the Hoover. <laughs> Hi Kay, how you doing? Welcome in. Shout out to Tubby Custard. Was that actually the vacuum's name? That's cool. See, there's this bucket here and I kind of want to use it for something. But maybe next time. See, I think if I put this in here, maybe if I stop the water. Mm -mm. No, yeah, see, why would I? Oh, what's this? What? Taping the strainer on the pipe, I would not have guessed that. Okay, so let's see what it looks like just on it's just sprinkling. Interesting. Now what if I do it all the way? It moves the bird. Oh my god! <laughs> and Mordecai just got pwned, dude. Mordecai just got absolutely pwnaged. <laughs> and now we have a sweet little snail! Oh, is this salt? Am I about to just destroy this snail? I think it's just an empty can. I put a little snail in a home! <laughs> Freaking pwn, man. <laughs> and now I have a little snail friend, that's cute. I've put a snail in the can! I think it's trying to escape, but I don't think it will. It's very slow. Okay. That's so funny. Okay. Well, uh, we've done something here. Now what would we need a little snail for? What would- what would we need a little snail for? I think it's time we bring back Pwn? Got absolutely Pwned, dude. I think so too. Epic is still not- I don't like Epic still, but Pwn? Absolute Pwnage? I think that's kind of cool. Epic Pwnage? No, that's too close. That's too close for me. <laughs> what about this little- Let me go up here. I don't think it'll let me in. It's gonna be dark, but I just want to see if there's something. Oh, wait. Wait, what am I even supposed to give you? Bring me determination. A snail's kind of like determination. Is that it? No way this is it. Was that it? Did you want the snail? 
Snails are quite determined, they're slow. That's what I mean. Really? Okay. <laughs> I underestimated the snail, that's so funny. Really? <laughs> cool. And we got thrown down the stairs again. 